How's it yes. going? Cool. Welcome back to the channel. Well overdue, Lee Chappie in the building. We've been trying to do something together for a little while now. I know, I know. I apologise. It's my fault. My fault. Yeah, it's a bit of both. It's a bit of both. And, and Leicester are pushing us in that whole big six as well. I'm getting tweets. Cheers. Maybe, Cheers. maybe we should replace Arsenal with... With Leicester, but I think there's other teams in the big six that need replacing first, you know. But we've got a few trophies under our belt at the very least. There's a few clubs in well, one club in there that hasn't. But the Leicester like that the bear. Tobes ain't here to defend himself today, so we'll keep it moving. Lee, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm I'm just looking at the chat now, and there's quite a few in the chat. And one of my main men's in the chat, Winksy, he's my uh, channel manager. Uh, big up Winks. Big up Winks. There. I see him there, Winksy. <laughs> come on people come on make sure you guys hit the like button get your questions thoughts in let's do a combined 11 lee so. uh, oh they, yeah i like doing this because we always argue about the goalkeeper with arsenal and leicester because i think schmeichel's better than leno but uh, but arsenal fans say leno's better than schmeichel's so it's a bit difficult this is tricky you see it there Schmeich schmeichel whoa whoa I, I honestly think with that league title, yeah, there isn't a there isn't a debate to be had about the keeper, in my opinion. Leno, I'm 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 happy with Leno. Let's see his development because I could be happier. Yeah. But I the difference is the difference is that between Leno and Schmeichel. Leno uh, it seems to be uh, more of a modern goalkeeper. He, yeah. he actually can distribute the ball. Casper can't. Casper's distribution is absolutely frightening, mate. Watch Casper Schmeichel for nine minutes. You'll see he's played the ball out for a throw in maybe two or three times at least in ninety minutes. Uh, you won't see Leno do that, mm. but I think he's probably a better commanding keeper uh, of his area than Leno. Well, yeah, that that was the debate with Martinez and Leno in terms of Martinez was a lot more commanding compared to Leno, and I think that's why a lot of people preferred him as a goalkeeper because when you're commanding like that. In your body, mate. I'm just saying, night, my lad. Night, nah, that's cool, man. Go ahead, man. No worries. Good night, little man. Good night, man. What's the time? Good night. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'd actually, I see that the chat is pretty split. There's a lot of Leno's, but there's a lot of Schmeichel's too. I'm gonna go with Schmeichel because he's got a league title. I know Leno hasn't been here long enough, and it is what it is at Arsenal. But Schmeichel has a league title. Schmeichel's competed for top four last season. Competing for top four this season. You know, like it's it's mm. hard for me to justify Leno if I'm honest with you guys. And even though I might agree with Lee in terms of his distribution's a bit better, it's literally a bit better because Leno at times on the ball recently he's been pretty well. He's he's developed. Uh, yeah, yeah. But you see, the thing is, you get to watch your keeper for ninety minutes every game. I get to watch mine. So we don't yeah. watch each other. So we, you know what I mean. You have to go off each other's word. And okay, fair enough. I'll go on that. So we um, agree on Schmeichel then. Okay, we'll go with Schmeichel in goal. Um, what about right back? Again, I'm going to agree with your choice because uh, Ricardo Pereira, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Okay, I mean, yeah. he was world class before he took the injury nine months ago. Yeah, um, he was. Doing so he well. was I mean, I, I think his injury might have stopped him from actually being bought by another club. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It was very close. You know, injury? he was potentially because he was he was getting some interest in terms of oh man he was yeah it was on fire um but on left i'd go tierney yeah because james justin's injured anyway um but i'd go tierney yeah yeah i've got that down as well center back oh this is number one for you this is tough because Wesley Fofana came in. Obviously, he's injured at the minute, and he's done tremendous when Suyuncu was out because of Johnny Evans. Mm. Suyuncu came in after we saw Maguire. He did really well because of Johnny Evans. Yeah. Johnny Evans. Uh, Johnny Evans doesn't get enough respect. The man's got a good trophy cabinet, and uh, we only bought him for like three million pounds or something stupid from West Brom or something. And he's been phenomenal. And I know I'm. I don't. <sighs> It's, it's tough to pick between Suyuncu or Johnny Evans in this because I'm going to go Gabriel and I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Suyuncu. Yeah, again, that's that's the pair in I did. And I think I have to echo your thoughts with Evans there. A few, well, not a few years ago, about three, four years ago, if you asked me about Evans and AFTV, I would have been like, look at the state of this club and look at where mm. we're going. But mm. four years later, look at what Evans has managed to do alongside different centre-backs, different pairings. I think he's been a leader back there, and I think he's been something in yeah. terms of character and mentality that Arsenal have missed. But you can keep that uh, that that big head bloke at the back. What's his name? Um, um, Krusty the Clown. No, no. Uh, what's his he's name? He's available this summer. He, he <laughs> might have some experience. Why not? <laughs> oh my God! If he's got as big feet as Krusty Clown, he can stay on the bench. I tell you. And there's, um, there's rumours of you getting a year contract extension. So don't even talk to me about that guy. 
I never rated him from the moment that Brazil got battered by Germany at the World Cup. I thought yeah. it was overrated yeah. from that day. Yeah, Thiago Silva missing really exposed him that day. Uh, oh, God. Really exposed uh, him. What about the middle, though? Please tell me Ndidi's in your... Combined he is. 11. Yeah. He is. He oh, is. God. Ndidi's in there. And Partey, right? And Partey's in there, yeah. too, yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then Magic Mad is in front. Yeah, 100%. We've got almost the same here. Um, I, I'm, And I'm guessing on the left, you're going to Bamiyang. Nope. Oh, you're going Barnes? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I was going on a Bamiyang for just pure experience and, and Barnes has still got a lot to learn yet. Yeah, no, 100%. Like, listen, I'm not saying Barnes is the better player, but what I am saying is in terms of the striker, yeah, I put Ober and Vardy there and I picked Vardy. And I thought to myself, what complements Vardy more or from the left? Bonds. Is it a yeah, 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 yeah. But I would love to see it, Vardy and Aubameyang on the same side. I would die to see that. It'd be interesting. But I think he'll jar you as well because I feel like Oba, if he's not the direct goal contributor from the left, then, you know, you get very little from him. And I think it'd be, mm. more of a, you know, I don't think they'd work well together, in my opinion. I don't mm. think they would. Um but I'm going Barnes, Vardy and Saka on the right. Yeah, OK. I went to Bamian, Vardy and Saka, but yeah. So it's very go. it's very close, though, what we've went with, to be fair. Yeah, it is very close. Very close. It was, it, the only one really was Barnes and Oba that we disagreed on. Yeah. And literally, it's you with Oba and me with Barnes. It's not even that we're arguing for our own player. Uh, that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, there you go, you see. They, that's fair enough, isn't it? I'll, I'll toast you to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I'll, I'll toast you with a Red Bull, mate. I haven't been getting much team recently, so I've got to make do with these. <laughs> Let me see what where we're at now. Isn't it the Queen?